In this video, we are going to take a look at how to use Google Sheets as a student. So there's a couple ways you can access Google Sheets from the Apps Cube. You might have an assignment in Google Classroom, or you could go to the Google Sheets homepage, or you can create a new sheet from Google Drive using that new button. So we have a blank spreadsheet here and we'll give it a quick title and create some uh, headers in the first row. So some of the things that you might be asked to do in um, a Google Sheet is to collect data for um, a math or science project or to drop in a project link so that you have a shareable link for your classmates or your teacher to access and give feedback to each other. So we're going to put in our um, headers in row one for a spreadsheet like that. So you can change the background color with that fill um, color button that looks like the bucket, which we're doing here. You can change how wide the columns are like we are doing right here by stretching out the edge. You can select an entire row by clicking on the numbers, an entire column by clicking on the letters. You can change the font size and the font, and you can change the formatting like we're doing here. You can type directly into the cells, and you can also insert a clickable link, which is one of the things that you might be asked to do um, frequently by your teachers in a spreadsheet. So we're going to go to our document and click on the share button to get that shareable link down at the bottom and go back to our spreadsheet. And there are two places that you can use to insert a link. So clicking insert and then click on the insert link option, or there is an insert link button in the toolbar that looks like a little chain link icon and then paste the link in the link section. And then instead of just clicking apply, we are going to type in the name of our document in the text section. That means that the text will be clickable. And so it'll say technology expectations, the name of the document, instead of that long, awful link that will go on forever, it will just be clickable with the title. And so you'll definitely want to put the text in that text section when you use the insert link option. So there are some other formatting sections up in the toolbar. You can rotate text. You can make sure the text wraps so it continues all within the cell. And you can insert other things like charts and graphs, which we will take a look at here momentarily. Um, you can also insert checkboxes for to-do lists, which we will also look at. So we're going to create a new sheet um, a new tab in this spreadsheet for some data. And we're going to see um, how to add average for that data and insert those charts. So here is our new tab with some grade level data for some distance um, calculations that we have. So we are going to first insert some charts to see how many students we had at each grade level. So first we'll highlight that column and then click insert chart and Google Sheets will automatically read the data that we have in that column and give us a chart that makes sense for that data. You can click on any part of the chart and customize it over on the right in the chart editor. Like we can change the color and um, change any of the labels. So we'll change the color here for fill color. You can change any of those titles, any of the labels just by clicking on any of the pieces on the chart itself. So we're gonna move this chart over so we can add a distance chart. So we're gonna highlight that column and again, click insert and chart. And it will read that data and create a chart that makes sense for that column. And again, we can click on any piece in that chart or graph and it will bring up that section over on the right. But we want to add some labels for the X axis. So we're gonna click add X axis, click on the little chart to select our range and just choose um, the column A, which will be our X axis. So we wanna see which grade level um, scored that distance. So that is all we have to do to add that X axis, those labels in there automatically. And now we're going to change our title just by clicking on that section in the chart. 
it will bring up the title text on the right so we can change that label. You can change the font, lots of things that you can do. We're going to freeze that top row, which means it won't change when we sort it. And so now we're gonna open up data and then sort that, which will automatically sort our um, chart. So now it's in order from sixth through eighth grade. Then you can click on those three dots to download your chart, to copy it if you want it to go into a Google Doc or a slideshow. So there's lots of things that you can do with charts in Google Sheets. Now we'll show average. So you need to highlight the section in your column or your row and then click on the um, formula button in the upper right and choose average and it will automatically calculate the average for you down at the bottom. So we also wanted to show another type of Google Sheet that you might have, like a to-do list with those check boxes. So you can have a planner or a checklist just like this set up in Google Sheets so that you can keep track of your assignments and to-do lists with those clickable check boxes, which you can insert with that insert um, button in the toolbar. So this is another type of uh, Google Sheet that you can set up um, along with um, collecting data. So those are some ways that you can use Google Sheets as a student.